This video demonstrates how to log into eDomero and then make an application for Plant Passport authorization. Click on eDomero login for registered users. This assumes you've already registered to use eDomero. If not, there's another video demonstrating this process. Log on through the Government Gateway. You've now logged into eDomero. Click on New Application. Click on Plant Passport Forms, a little plus next to the scheme name. Here you can add new file 3. If one's been entered previously, then it will say Resubmit file 3. Agreed to data protection. Enter the name in full of the person who is going to act as your person responsible on the nursery. Enter an email address. If you are selling plants by distant sales, you need to tick this box here. That's aspects like mail order and internet sales. These next screens list various plants that you might grow. Some of the section headings aren't quite accurate. If you grow or wholesale, or sell by mail order or distant selling, any of these plants tick the appropriate box. You may need to speak to your local plant health inspector for guidance on these. If you grow or sell plants and nothing that you grow is listed in the specific screens, tick this box here. Only tick this box if you haven't ticked any of the other genera or species. Click Next. If you grow plants in soil, such as field-grown trees, tick Yes. If you grow them in compost, then there are no issues with potato cyst nematode and you can tick no. Click next. Here you can upload a file giving details of where you grow plants on the nursery. If you don't wish to do this now you can either provide it when an inspector visits your nursery or for documentary registrations only you don't need to submit a plan. Check the application is correct. If you believe you've missed anything, you can go back pages. If you think this is correct, tick the box and submit. You'll get an email confirming your application to be made and a summary screen here. 